let's talk about the second approach to design the form in angular application and this one is called as reactive forms earlier we were talking about the template driven approach but here we will start the second one that is the reactive forms okay whatever we are doing over here in this template driven approach we can also implement the same thing by using the reactive forms there are so many things to cover in the reactive form and we will start from the basic one I do not want to remove this component let's keep it as it is with the template driven and let's add one more new component and we will design that same form that we are using over here using this template driven approach we will design it by using the reactive forms also so let's open a new terminal window and here let's add another component here I can write ng g c and let's go to the books so basically we are defining the path and I want to create the new component inside this components folder and let's give it a name add book reactive in this component we will use the reactive forms just hit the enter button and you will notice that we are having this new component you can give any meaningful name to your component it is not necessary to use this reactive I am doing this just to differentiate in between these two components let's use this component in the routing also so over here let's just copy it paste it again and here i'm writing new reactive just a new path and here i'm writing add book reactive component save all the changes and let's go back to this old books let's add one more button over here so just copy it paste it again and here i'm writing using reactive form and let's append this route new reactive save all the changes and go back to the browser so here we are on the browser and let's click on this all books here we are and we have one more button add new book using reactive form click on this one and you can see and you can see we are having this new page we have to design our form on this particular page as a first step let's copy the html from this particular add book component so let's copy everything and go back to this reactive paste over here and let's update it so here i'm writing using reactive let's remove all these things from this input box I only have the HTML from the previous form and over there we were using this array this one and let's use this one over here in this new component also that's it what error do we have over here there is no further error let's go to the browser and see what we have this time so we are having this form let's update the CSS as well so we were using this CSS over there let's copy everything go back to this particular CSS save it and let's see what we have now we are having our form and if you will click on this button nothing will happen because this is just the plain HTML on this form you can use the pure HTML tag also but here I'm using the angular material components it is not necessary that this reactive form will work only with this angular material component no whatever logic we will apply over here you can use it with the plain HTML or if you are using some third-party other controls then it will work with all of them to work with the reactive forms as a first step we have to import one more module to enable the concept of reactive forms in angular application we have to import one more module and the name is reactive forms module let's import that new module over here in this books module reactive forms module that's it now we have enabled the reactive form approach in this application to work with the reactive forms there are two very important concept first is the form group and second is the form control in the previous approach we were having two things first one was the ng model and second one was the form here we will use the form control for all the controls and form group for the entire form let's try to use a form group over here so here I am declaring a new variable I'm writing public and let's use add book form the type is form group let's go to the definition of this form group and let's see what we have over here you will see that this form group is extending this abstract control and there are so many things we can do so many things in this form group 
if I go to the constructor, in the constructor you will see we will pass the controls. So if I want to add any kind of control in this form group, then I have to pass it over here inside the constructor. Let's use this equal sign and create the new instance. So here I am doing the form group and in the constructor we have to pass and here in the constructor I have to pass my form controls. So first control is basically the title and here I'm writing new form control like this. Basically we have to design our form over here. If you are having three properties in the form then you have to write three of them over here. In our case we are having a couple of properties. So we have to define all of them over here in this form group and this form control will represent to one specific control. That's it. This is how you can create a form group in your application. And you can also create the instance of this particular adbook form in the constructor. So let's say I do not want to create the instance over there. And so I can do it here. This dot adbook form is equals to this one. If you want to create a new method to initialize the form, you can also do that over here. So let's say here I'm creating one more method like let's create a private method in it form and there is no return type and let's just cut this entire code paste it over here and let's use this init form over here in this ng on init you will see everything is working fine so far if you are working on the latest version of angular then you might get an error over here and that error will be that you must initialize this form either in the constructor or while declaring it but i'm not getting that error over here this is because I have already added one property in one of the previous video in this tsconfig file. So here it is. If I am just removing it, then you will notice that I will get the error. Immediately you will see we are getting the error over here at, and it is saying property add book form has no initializer and it is not definitely assigned in the constructor. If you do not want to use that property in the tsconfig file, then you have to initialize your form either in the constructor or while declaring it. But to avoid this kind of error, let's use this property. So this will not add the strict property initialization. Just save all the changes and everything is working fine so far. We are done with the changes in the TS file. Now let's make the changes in the HTML file. So on this form, we have to add one form group like this. And the name of the form group is this add new book form. And just like we were having ng model in all the input elements and here we have to use form control name and in the form control name we have to provide the name that we are using over here so let's say this title this one let's do the same thing in all of the input elements And at the last we are having this is published property. Let's define the form control name for this one also. That's it. Now we can get all the details of this form by using this add book form name. So over here at the end I'm writing this dot value and let's use the JSON pipe over there. Let's go to the browser and let's see what we have. So we are having this proper form. If I will add anything over here like this let's say here i'm typing 100000 choose the price choose a date this one what we have over here we are having all of them over here and if you remember that we were using this my form in this scenario we can get all the details by using this add book form and there is no need to create this kind of template reference variable let's test this one also so over here i'm using this add book form and let's use this add book form over here and let's remove this template reference variable from this form and because there is no validation in this form so far that is why everything is valid and this button is enabled but when we will add few validations then you will see that it will work properly and if you talk about all the properties then you will see as first they are having null this is null this is null but as soon as i will enter any value you will see immediately we are getting the changes over here okay now I want to submit this form and to submit it, we can use the previous approach that we were using over here. So we were having this ng submit, let's copy it 
and let's get the same method also so this is the same method let's copy it go back to this ts file and over here let's create it now at this place we have to get the form values and we can do that easily by using this add book form so here it is model dot value so first let's just comment this and i want to get the values only in the console so there we are let's go to the browser and clear this console enter anything over here so let's say this is book title here is the author sample number of pages let's say it is 100 choose the price choose a date like this is published hit the enter button and you will see we are having the entire data here on the console window i can use this code to save the data in the service so let's implement that book service here i'm writing private book service book service that's it now let's go back to the browser and just try to add one more form so here i'm writing book from reactive author let's say it is sample reactive number of pages are triple nine price is 100 dollar here is the date published save it and let's go to the old books at the end you will see we are having this particular data from this reactive form so this is the title so we are not getting the value here in this price and total pages this is not working in this case because we have added a different property name for this total pages let's see what we were using earlier we were using total pages okay so over here let's use that total pages so instead of using this pages we have to use the total pages and update it over here also click on this button enter the data click on the save button do we have that total pages over here this total pages is 100 and it is working fine go to the old books you scroll down at the end this time you will see we are having this total pages 100 now we are getting the error for this price but we will do something interesting over here and we will fix it in upcoming video